basic alchemist. So first of all, Sega no Kamai. Then you Sega no Kamai. Okay? Now, Marco, take a look. A bigger stand, a lower position. Yeah. Now, about the grip itself, it has to be so that there is a kind of a gap from the tuba. It should not be too tight on the tuba. The hankeleg should be line edged. So this descent, uh, just not here, but here. While you have this joint, you see this joint has to be between the radius and ulna, exactly in the middle. You do not want it to be like this or like that, but like this. Like you have a fist and you are sending not those two between the bones, but this one between the bones. That's for a sword. Okay? It has to be accurate. Otherwise, all what you build is wrong. So, that is in the middle, and therefore, then the grip would be so that you're not bending your angle length and your fear. The second hand is supporting from the other side. Sega no Kamaya means that the tip of the sword has, and the, and the eyes, and the eyes of the gegna, this is a smaller gegna, thank you, uh, has to be on the line. That's Sega no Kamaya. Now, here, that's a new curve. Let me show you how I mean. See, there. So you don't do that, you are here, that's a Sega no Kamaya. Very, very, very comfortable and you go relatively low. Okay, like that. So there is a, a quite a big gap from the tsuba. All the others can take sword meanwhile, so you just make a little scanning. We will see today anyhow. Another thing is other command. Come on, who you say? It's a silly. Uh let me let me uh, uh, hustle command. Hassel Kamaya. Yeah. Hassel And show me variation of Hassel Kamaya. In different distances. So look at who you are in a fight situation, you're using the Hassel Kamaya. Okay? Different positions. Feel free with that. Feel free to move your hand. Let me just come here. So as you stand facing there, and you stand in Hassel Kamaya, yeah, you can have this position here when he shows the sword. Or he can go high the sword, have a more more standing straight position. Standing, let me just show you. So we can we can stand like like that, or we can stand like that. We can stand like that. I can stand like that. It's all Hassan Kamaya. All these positions are the same. So the Hassan Kamaya, what does it mean? It is uh, unendless eight possibilities, but actually unendless possibility that you can have from this position. So you should feel free to move yourself, your leg, and your body position all around. Okay? So you can project more. So ah, you can show it more. You can hide it more. You can talk to it. It's a language. This is less aiming. This is more aiming. Okay? So it's a way of talking. Silent with it. Okay, Hassan Kamaya, Hidari, <coughs> to the other side. And also here, the blade can go backwards now, yeah? And also here, hide it or show it. Have different body positions for it. Okay, have different body positions for the Hassan Kamaya. Okay, now, let's go back to the Sega no Kamaya, everyone. Let's do Sega no Kamaya. And watch your ankles, watch your hands, how you are, if you're standing right. So the line of your eyes and the tip of the sword about parallel to the ground. That's about it. Everyone also, and Eddie, this is Yes, now you go to uh, Ichimonji no Kamaya. This is the Ichimonji no Kamaya. Also here, you don't want to have that knick. This is a knick still. So, see here, this is how it should be. This joint between those two bones, there should not be a kink. If the hand is sinking this way or that way, that's called a knick. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that. We want to have the, the hand and the sword. With, the sword will be just extension of your hand, extension of your body. Okay, that's what the sword is for. It's not to make you a trouble is to be just making you have a larger, more dangerous body. 
Okay, so this is Ichimon Jino Kamai. Here in Ichimon Jino Kamai, what is important, you want to maintain the sword in such a manner that the opponent will not see it. That that phrase, till the Saya, till the, till the, till the, till the uh, guard here, would be completely one point. Will not be seen. Because if the opponent sees Hasuro Kamaya, he knows how big is your sword. It's very much like you put your pants down and you show how big uh, is your <laughs> job. Is your Whatever. But here, you hide it. You don't want to show how big is your sword. You want to hide it. Sorry, back. Now, this is again on Kamaya. Do it again on Kamaya. Okay. And there is also an opposite leg, it's called Tosui no Kamaya. You change the leg, and that's a Tosui no Kamaya. And also here, you're, you're a little nicking your left hand now, Oliver. Uh -huh. So, if I may, just shortly. Okay. So, Tosui no Kamaya, as we have the same, we, you see I'm a little bit rotating it. I'm rotating it, so I make an extension here. And this is how the Tosui no Kamaya from Get on no Kamaya by speed. This is also, we did do that, that the Chu Dan no Kamaya, that the Ichimonji no Kamaya, Sega no Kamaya, and the Tosui no Kamaya. Okay? Work on that. Move from one position to another. Chu Dan no Kamaya. Chu Dan is a middle posture from your solar plexus forward. That's the Chu Dan. It's just aiming, it's like a middle position. So it's like you don't tell the opponent where to attack. If you go Ichimonji no Kamaya, so you say, okay, my legs are more vulnerable. You can attack me down if you want, because I have my sword up. If you go in a Geta no Kamaya, you say, okay, my head is free. You can attack it. This is the Kerpa Sprache. But when you have a Chuda no Kamaya, it's a middle posture. You don't really project what you want to uh, offer for the opponent to attack. Now you have the Daijo Dan Kamaya. It's above your head. Now here, in this position, very important to have comfortness. Did they come over here? You see, he has so the position that he can see, his hand doesn't disturb, he can see all what he needs, and he has a contact. But here, the sword is not touching directly the head, it's just the hands. Let me show it again. See here, that. You see, hand, hand, not the sword. That's something we don't want to have. Okay? We want to have it here. So, as I stand this way, okay, I have my hands are in contact and my hands are open so I can have quite a full vision. Now, the hand has to be 45 degrees. So, it shouldn't be this way and shouldn't be this way. Because you see what happens. My hand, one of the hands has to come up. Both of them are here, this gives you the thing to the knee. So do again. Daijo Dano Kamaya. Touch your head with your hands. Touch your hands. Your hands touching the head, yeah? Is this clear? Do I speak Chinese? No. You don't see. It's in front of your eyes. Now you see. Cook, cook, you see? Now don't need touch an extension of the palm or flexion of the palm or deviation of the palm, medial or the lateral. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. Only here in the middle. Constantly. So you have your hand here. Should, should not be like that. Should not be, yeah? Fear. One line here. So, now, cut down and step forward from the beginning. Now it goes like this, that your hand, your right hand ends up here. So as you are coming, your hand is here. And your sword is about seven centimeters from the ground. About. So you have to sink your back also. No hamad. So look. Now how you come back? Oliver, let's test you. Demonstrate. Okay, first of all, you are bring bring yourself a sword. So I have mine also here, so one of the Okay, so when I have that position here, two hands, okay, I'm first of all doing that and then that. Not doing this. This is wrong. Okay? Such a lifting is wrong. 
correct is when you are doing that. You understand? More secure, you're more protected. So, show me Didi, cut out. And you see, as we cut, I have it here. You see my sword here where it goes? That's as high from the ground. It's about 775 to 7 centimeter from the ground. That much. Okay? All right? Before you step, the sword is there. Go. One. Stop your hand on your overshinker. Two. Throw that up. Three. You see where the hand? Put your osteotiformis on your arm. On your arm. It's not arm. What is this? It's the neck, right? On your neck. On your thigh. Okay, here. Not here. Because if you do it very strong, whoops, you can hit yourself. You want to stop it here. You don't want to crack your sword, but you want to bring it down. And then here. One. Two. Three. Factory or <laughs> <laughs> okay now so <coughs> sorry and uh, so these are the shomengiri now let's go to uh, further positions we didn't finish with them so we have the waki no kamaya waki no kamaya from haso move to waki no kamaya haso move to waki no kamaya you step back so from here we are moving here that's waki no kamaya get down when the blade is up. And there is also that when the blade is down. Those two exist. Okay? There's a chew down. Same way here with a sword. And chew down is a middle. And a get down. Okay? This is Wakino Kamara. was Migi, and now it's Hidari. Left side. Move from side to side. Get down, chew down, draw down and try to maintain the sword relatively comfortable so you don't need to bend or knick your hand too much. Here it's a little, almost um, uh, unavoidable that you're a little bit knicking them. Now, so from this position we move to Kasumi no Kamaya. Kasumi no Kamaya. And Kasumi Migi, Kasumi Hidari. Also here the hands are touching the head. Both of them. Up and down like that. Okay? That's Kasumi no Kamaya. <coughs> if we cover it all, yeah, we did all what uh, we need to know in that level. Okay? There are also other positions, but there are handcuff variations. There are more for showdown in the future. But meanwhile, this stuff, the cuttings also, let's continue more about the cutting from Hasuno Kamaya Keragiri. And then here, one, two, one, two. So there are two kinds, two characteristics, <coughs> plus a third one with a sword. The one is that you're doing a cut and you are lifting it in order to change for the other side around. So it's like a, a full motion. The other thing is that you cut and you go back. This is like two different kinds. The cut that you continue and the cut that you go back. Two different attitudes. Make them both. First the first and the second. One, so you cut and you lift it over your head. You understand the two? I understand the two. But you did only the front one of them. <coughs> okay, so here we have this, and then we come back. Okay? Means you are cutting, and you are lifting, and you are back in the position. So it's, <coughs> so it's you cut, you are protecting your soul by coming back. You go to the same unflux position. No, come on. So we have a one above the head and we are here. Two, 
and coming back. Second one is this, and retreat same way you came. This, and retreat as you came. So you cut. As you cut, you notice that your sword, the tsuba, is in front of your toes. It's not behind your toes. <clears throat> it's here, like almost in the same line as your toes. If you talk, take a vertical line. Nochamal. You cut kezagiri, and the tsuba has to be placed like the end position of your toes. This is where we are. Okay? One, and coming back same way, or one, and coming back around your head this way. You can go just about this way. 